Hey, VC, what's going on? I'm coming back at you already uh, on this uh, Wednesday. It's been a productive day. Um, I've been uh, working for um, the last couple of days on a piece of uh, a new piece for the uh, opening of the uh, art space that uh, I'm an artist in residence for, the Carver Building. Uh, once again, the Carver Building is historic in that it's the first. It housed the first African-American owned bank in Nebraska. And uh, it's a cool building. Anyway, I uh, have been, I um, did some field recording down there um, last week. And this piece that I'm uh, just about done with is um, completely, um, it's all from those recordings. No other input. Of course, I'm processing things, but just about done and um, so um, I was able to make a video earlier um, for light breeze hey guys thanks for the uh, feedback already that was fun and man you know all the records I still could continue to show you know from those years you know <clears throat> all the records I wish I had but anyway I uh, just now took a, a time out and uh, dug up a few more British jazz albums that I have that I know I have that relate to the conversation that Anders um, had started and um, I'll start with um, showing this Chris McGregor's Brotherhood of Breath album Country Cooking I'm not sh sure if um, you have this one with a different cover or not um, Anders but I'm gonna drop the needle on this this is pretty good busting up the blues in a nice way you know and of course this album is loaded with um, many of the uh, folks the Harry Beckett, Claude Deppa, Fayez Vir Virgi, Jeff Gordon, Ann Whitehead, Chris McGregor of course, Ernest Mothley um, and some of these people's names are not so familiar to me but this is really excellent 1988 uh, this is on the Venture, Virgin Venture Records. I just have a few more that I wanted to share and uh, leave it to um, Prague and Jazzman as well as John Coltrane 68 to um, bring the knowledge. <laughs> you know, again, this is so much fun, the uh, round robin of information that happens here. Um, I would not have thought to show my Turning Point album for this um, subject, but it does fit. Jeff Klein on bass, Turning Point, Creatures of the Night. I don't have the one that uh, you showed, Dave. This is really nice. Now see, to my ears, Passport is not far from this. Now, it, probably, do I think that, Anders, would you like this more than Passport? Probably. Probably. Yeah. This is nice, and... Uh, I don't know, it's just uh, a bit more of that grit, perhaps, in that Brit British um, feel. Creatures of the Night, this is good, on Go. You know, the Go label is kind of cool. Let me just go ahead and show it, since sometimes I like I like it when people show the labels. You don't always have to people, but I like it when you all do. <laughs> Thanks. 
I like, so I, you know, I like to show the, the label too. Isn't that cool? Kind of collectible. It's a cool looking label. Um, I just now remembered Isotope. I didn't pull up Isotope. You know, that's another one that goes in with this group, Gary Boyle and those players. I have at least one Isotope album, maybe two. But another group that was brought up was Nucleus. And uh, indeed, I do have nu Elastic Rock. And I've had this since... This is, again, this goes back to my... Um, the end of my teen days, you know. And uh, it's, a sli it's slightly damaged, but this is the... Uh, I've had it since the 70s and this it's you know my cover is damaged but this is it and this is just a fantastic uh, vertigo swirl I mean this is really um, talk about a mellow just a real excellent kind of feeling uh, type of, uh, for an example of uh, just some excellent uh, British jazz, jazz rock. This is it. 1970. 1970. And uh, this is kind of like an heirloom. It was given to me by the same uh, friend who gave me the Ockham Reichel Echoes and um, some other really essential prog, I mean, Kraut Rocks and prog albums, actually. This is a real good one. Excuse me for taking my time, but I wanna, you know, this, this is a, take care of this baby. Elastic Rock by Nucleus, this is a good one. Um, Dave showed some of the other uh, essential ones, which of course I don't have, but this is a really good one. Nucleus, In Flagrante Delicto. I, I rate this one high. This has got that Miles type of thing going on, right? You know, the, the thing that was really uh, let loose from the bitches brew in a silent way type of thing. This is really, really good. Ian Carr's Nucleus in Flagrante Delicto. And I have one other, Out of the Long Dark. And this is good too. Ian Carr is the nucleus. So uh, these records, you know, uh, now that it's been brought up, it's like, yeah, I uh, don't see these often, but when I do and can afford them, I grab them. John Stevens. This is the only thing I have. This is not highly rated, and nor should it be, but I just played it this morning because I haven't for a long time. And it has its merits. Now, this is where this is at. This is... Uh, in early, Alan Holdsworth, Jeff Young, Ron Matthewson, and with John Stevens, okay? So now here's what's going on with this. <clears throat> it's, it's improvisational, and it's got a tentative feel, you know what I'm saying? It's like you can hear that this is probably the first recording, or the first session, you know what I'm saying? But it warms up, and so that's the deal, you know? It's like if you stay with it, and it's not, not easily found on vinyl, vinyl records. Touching on John Stevens. So you don't want to spend money on this, but if you come across it, you know, and it's within your range, you know, don't pass it up. You, you'll hear what I'm talking about. Now, the last thing I have to offer is more along the spontaneous music ensemble AM lines, but I... I I have to uh, recommend at least one of these. The first one I'll show is Eddie Prevost. It's a split that he did with Organum. And Eddie Prevost, as you know, is a percussionist. Let me make sure I'm saying it right. Uh, yeah, drummer percussionist who is with Am. British fellow. Done a lot of um, improvisational noise work. This is produced by... Um, Stephen Stapleton of Nurse with Wound. And uh, as a matter of fact, he, Organum is a... Um, Stephen Stapleton, it's uh, Andrew Chalk, David Jackman, Dinah Jane Rowe, and Stephen Stapleton. This is 1987.
but um, Eddie Prevost, you, I think you know the, this musician. This is like Tatsuya Nakatani. This guy is, you know, kind of a pioneer of working with sound and ideas and uh, to great effect. This one is the one I want to recommend. The Eddie Prevost Quartet Continuum. Don't know much about these other musicians to tell you right offhand. I haven't read this in a while, so I don't remember. This is Im improvisational jazz, but this is pretty damn good. On the Matchless Recordings lab label. What year is this? 1983 is when this was recorded. So um, I want to recommend this. And then as you can hear, the Brotherhood of Breath is really good. I've shown this, but um, Overy Lodge. Uh, I don't know if the one that Dave showed is a reissue of this or another release. I think it might be another. Yeah, it is, because... I don't think Julie Tippetts is on this, just uh, Keith Tippetts is on this. this. This is, this is killer. Now this one, real quick needle drop and I'm done. This is, this is definitely worth a needle drop. for a minute. Interestingly, the album's production is attributed to uh, Robert Fripp. As you know, Robert Fripp, I'm sure, just sat and listened. <laughs> this is fantastic. I used to have the vinyl. It's a long, stupid story. There you go, Anders, and anyone else um, that um, is interested in a bit more British-based uh, jazz music. <laughs> 